upper left hand corner and I'm going to put positive 2. Now this is important to recognize. If we were dividing by x plus 2, we'd be using negative 2 here. So it's going to be the opposite sign. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to write the coefficients of this polynomial. So 3, negative 2, 5, 0, 8. Okay, now wait a second. Why 0? We'll see how this is going in descending order. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, right? So the degrees of the terms are going in descending order. If we skip over any of the terms, we have to put 0 as a placeholder. So if I was missing 5x squared, or this x squared term, I would have a 0 here and a 0 here, and then the constant. So you want to go from the highest degree down to the lowest degree, and you want to go in order, and if you're missing any of those terms, just put 0 as a placeholder. Okay, then what I do is I just draw a line like so. And what you want to do, this is the first step, sometimes students forget this, you want to drop down that first term. So whatever this number is, just bring it right down like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply on the diagonal, okay, and you're going to put the result of that product, okay, right here. So this is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6. Then you're going to add straight down, okay, which gives us 4. And then you're going to multiply in the diagonal, okay, so 2 times 4, which is 8, and you're going to add straight down. Then you're going to multiply in the diagonal, 2 times 13, which is 26. You're going to add straight down, and then you're going to multiply in the diagonal, and you're going to add straight down which gives you 60. This is the remainder. So now what we're going to do, since we were dividing by uh, x minus 2, this is 3x to the fourth, this goes down always by one degree. So if you start with x to the fourth, now this is going to be x cubed. So what we have is 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 13x plus 26 plus the remainder 60 over the divisor, what you're dividing by. So that's your quotient, that's your answer. You just have to remember if there's a remainder here, just put the remainder over what you're dividing.